A call forwarding action allows you to forward your incoming calls to multiple destinations, including existing phones or SIP addresses. You can also configure voicemail and receive voicemail messages via email. Voicemail is optional. Let's create a new call forwarding action and assign it to a phone number. From the navigation bar, click on Manage Phone Numbers and then select Phone Numbers. You should now see the Phone Numbers page which displays your active phone numbers and call action settings. Select the phone number to add to your call forwarding action and under the Call Action column, click on the New button. The Create New Call Action dialog will be displayed. Click on Call Forwarding. The Edit Call Forwarding screen will appear. Enter a description for this call forwarding action in the Description field. You can optionally assign a 3 to 6 digit extension number to this call forwarding action. Callers can dial this extension and directly go to this call forwarding action from anywhere extensions can be used. In the Call Destination section, you can configure and add multiple call destinations. There are two columns displayed ring delay, and call forwarding destination. The ring delay allows you to determine when the destination phone number will ring. The first destination will always ring immediately. Under the call forwarding destination column, you can select a phone number to ring or create a new one. In this example, we would like to forward all calls to Jeff's three phone numbers in the following order. We would first like to ring Jeff's office then his home office, and finally his cell phone. Let's see how we can do this. Let's start by clicking on the Create New Ring 2 button. For this Ring 2, let's set the description as Jeff's office. When entering a Ring 2, we must specify the country where the destination phone number is located. In this case, we will select USA Canada. Now we will enter Jeff's phone number to his office. Let's click Save. Let's add Jeff's home office number by clicking on Add New Destination. Then, click on the Create New Ring 2 button. For this Ring 2, let's set the description as Jeff's home office. Now we will enter Jeff's phone number to his home office. Let's click Save. The ring delay determines when the call destination phone number is rung. In this example, we will select the number to ring after 30 seconds. Notice that the option Continue Ringing has appeared on the previous call destination entry. The Continue Ringing option controls how long each phone rings. Uncheck this option to stop ringing this destination when the next destination starts. Check this box to continue ringing this destination simultaneously. Finally, let's add Jeff's cell phone by clicking on the Add New Destination button, then click on the Create New Ring To button. For this ring to, let's set the description as Jeff's cell phone. Now we will enter Jeff's phone number to his cell phone. Let's click Save. Let's set this destination to ring after 60 seconds. If Jeff doesn't answer any of his three phone numbers, we will enable voicemail to answer the incoming call. To enable voicemail, click on the Enable Voicemail option. Select when voicemail should answer. In this example, voicemail will answer after 90 seconds. We can then select a voicemail box or create a new one. In this example, we will use the default voicemail box for this account, which is Jeff's mailbox. Now let's save this call forwarding action. Now our call forwarding action has been assigned to our phone number.